With so much happening surrounding the events on January 6th, many people have been targeted. I have with me right now Ned Lang. He's the father of Jake Lang, one of the individuals charged with some acts that day. They're saying that there was maybe violence. They don't count the people that he saved their lives. Talk a little bit about what's going on with your son right now being held in the legal system. Thank you, Chris. Good morning. It's a pleasure to be here. It's an honor. Uh, my son um, was in the uh, Biden Gulag uh, for the last year and, and a month. Um, he has a court uh, date actually coming up. And uh, so they moved him just in the middle of the night to, um, to the Lewisburg Federal Prison up in Pennsylvania. Um, he is in quarantine up there for the so-called COVID debacle. And uh, so he's in quarantine right now. Um, he is, uh, he's in much better conditions than he was in the, uh, in the DC Gulag. Um, in, in, in that in particular prison, he was in with the Patriot group, a bunch of great guys. I know a lot of them. I've talked to them. I'm on getting out with a bunch of them. Um, they're suffering in there. It's a, it's very harsh conditions. My son was in, uh, in the hole for 23 hour a day lockdown, 202 days in the hole in the bottom of the prison, 202 days to, to an American who's not a convicted criminal. He's not convicted of anything. He's merely accused of doing these acts. Like so you many feel other people. already that his constitutional rights to due process and a speedy trial have already been violated. Not even a question. I mean, that, that was done, you know, all your BLM and Antifa folks, I mean, they have been accused of doing or convicted of doing much worse things and have gotten bail immediately or had their, their sentences reduced or actually re the sentences actually forgiven. Mm -hmm. um, and, and they were accused of doing much worse things than these J6 patriots. Talk about the website you have, j6truth.org. What kind of projects are you working on on that? My son is, a, uh, is an entrepreneur. He has been very gifted in the, uh, in the electronic or the information world. And so um, we have two different assistants working for my son while he's still in, while he's in prison. Um, these folks and my son have put together a fantastic website. It's like you said, j6truth.org, fantastic. We are um, posting a lot of great videos, a lot of good information there that is actual footage, actual information from the, the events on J6 to show the government's involvement on J6 to show that these folks uh, that were at J6, they were enticed to come up into the Capitol. There was a million of them. The police took down the barricades. We've got the videos. They opened the magnetic doors from the inside. We have police breaking the windows and inviting the, uh, the protesters in. This was a peaceful protest. They were enticed into the Capitol. And then when they were there, there was a million of them up in there and they couldn't just leave. So they were entrapped. And then they were attacked spontaneously all at once. And the police used lethal force on a static crowd. And that's when the violence really occurred because you, you had defenseless Americans fighting and defending each other. My son saved two people's life that day. He saved Philip Anderson's life outside the tunnel. And Tommy Tatum just came forward. He's with us today. And he also is crediting my son with saving his life. And Roseanne Boylan died right before them on the ground due to police brutality that day. What would you say to Nancy Pelosi if you could have a sit down discussion with her? I would say, Nancy, why didn't you use if, if you were so concerned about this this insurrection that you, that you called it? which was nothing more than a peaceful protest. Where were the National Guard troops? Your own security was telling you, bring National Guard troops in there. If you want to protect the Capitol, then protect the Capitol. This was a setup from day one. The police were way understaffed. This was a peaceful protest back in the 60s. I, I grew up as a kid in the 60s, in the early 70s. This is what people did. They, they would sit in in courthouses. They would go up on the Capitol steps. They would stand and they would stand up for their rights. It's a peaceful protest. It's our First Amendment right. And this is what was happening that day. It was happening right until it was a peaceful protest until the cops attacked these people. And as Kara Casanova says, I back the blue, but not these blue. How many years in prison is your son looking at? They offered him nine or 10 years in prison, which is a complete atrocity. There's no justice right now. You know, the problem with is if you, if, 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 if you don't have justice for one, you have justice for none. So the thing is, is that we are creating a documentary right now, and we're going to show in our documentary the difference between the J6 uh, folks who are being accused of all these crimes, and then they um, are, you know, some of them are actually, you know, uh, complying with the government and, and confessing or whatever. And they're... They're taking for, deals. Taking deals, and their um, treatment and their, and their um, uh, sentences are much more... I've, they're just flagrant. I mean, it's just such an abuse of our government that they're giving them these harsh sentences for simple misdemeanors. 
and you know these folks were there peacefully for the most part and so they've asked, offered my son this crazy deal we're not going to take it we are going to fight the only way to properly vent what happened on j6 is through trial and we're going to trial and i got the horsepower to take it from this dc to uh the appellate division and we'll go to the u.s supreme court if we have to but the thing is is that in washington dc where these guys are getting trialed tried there is no way that you can get an honest, true, and fair trial in Washington, D.C. The people in Washington, D.C., for the most part, have a very, very negative um, view of what happened on J6. And so everybody's guilty before they even are sentenced. And then you have the judges. I, you know, I speak to a lot of parents out there and a lot of families out there. And some of these families have spent $150,000 on attorneys before a judge. And then what they do, because it's so woke here, they change judges. And so they, now they have to resubmit a lot of the same um, motions to, for their clients. And this one family spent $150,000, their entire life savings. Now they're, they have another $120,000 in bills, and they change judges. It's a, it's a sham what's it's going on. It's unbelievable what's happening. This is Ned Lang. He's the father of Jake Lang being held with the J6ers right now. You can continue to follow us here on Real America's Voice. We're going to continue to follow this story all the way to the end. Mr. Lang, thank you so much for, for joining me here today. Thank you very much for having me and, uh, and on behalf of my son as well.